Hey there, it's Candy from The Candy Show, and I'm here with another Empties. Now, if you remember in June, I had done Empties Part 1 and only went halfway through the bag with the intention of finishing the bag while we were still in June. Well, you know what they say about uh, good intentions and what road it paves. So I am now back in July to do an Empties video, and instead of just finishing off that bag, the bag has filled back up. So I'm going to jump right on in. We're going to start with In Coco. You know I love these. This was the dry nail applique in 24 carats. If you want to see what any of these look like, go to my Instagram. It's linked down below. You know Denise and I are crazy hand washers, and this is a soap we've used for years. It is the Pure and Basic Bath and Body Wash. This was in Tropical Paradise. Beautiful smell. Another hand wash from Bath and Body Works. This is Citrus Sunshine. This entire summer line has been fantastic. Loving the smell. Another hand wash. This one is the Pure and Basics. Um, actually, no. This is a lotion. This was a body lotion. It was Pure and Basics Hand and Body Lotion in Beach Vacation. Um, I usually buy one lotion, you know, every six months to put next to the sink along with the soap, but the lotion is huge so we don't go through it as fast. Uh, but we've used this one up and I would buy this again. I've got a hand cream that I used up. I love Jolique hand creams. This one was in lavender, which is my favorite one for before bed. And of course I used my tube wrangler to get every last bit out of it. We used up a candle. This one was the Honeysuckle Bouquet. It was all right. It's not one that I'm going to run out and buy again. Ah, uh, Denise used up one of her, um, this was the shower gel of her philosophy, Amazing Grace. The smell on Denise is, oh, 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 it makes me burn. If we only had $10 left, I would forego food so that she could have that smell. That's how much I love it on her. <laughs> She's not there laughing. That's a big ass thing when I'm saying I'd forego food. And on that note, here is um, an Amazing Grace Firming Body Emulsion. Denise uses these. I get her the big mammoth ones because I just want her to smell like it all the time. I'm a shower in the morning kind of girl. Denise showers right before bed and she slathers that on and I swear to you when she gets in bed it melts me. Another hand cream from Bath and Body Works. This was the Lavender Blossom which I love. I have this candle burning in our bedroom right now. A makeup product which you know those are kind of rare and empty because it takes so long to go through them. This was the Too Faced Aqua Bunny uh, Cream to Powder Splash Proof Bronzer and I used it all up. Um, I probably won't buy this one again because when I first started using it, I really liked it. And then I found after a while, it did have a bit too much red in it uh, for my skin. But if, if the color is right for you, it's a lovely, lovely cream bronzer. I used up a face wash. This was Kate Somerville's Detox Daily Cleanser. Got it in a value pack. If you're someone with oily skin, I would definitely recommend it. This was a body wash, but I couldn't use it as a body wash. It's the Bliss Lemon and Sage Soapy Suds Body Wash and Bubbling Bath. And it is the lemon and sage um, smell. And every time I was in the shower and tried to use it, I felt like I was like dressing a turkey. <laughs> because when I cook turkey or chicken, lemon and sage and thyme are the things I put on it. And that's what it smelled like to me. And it was just not the right smell for me for the shower so I just moved it over onto into the spare bathroom onto the sink as a hand wash and as a hand wash it worked perfectly and I do love the Bliss shower gel formula it was just that particular smell not mama's face used up an itty bitty candle this was one of the Emma Hardy candles when I got my last order from I think it was either feelunique.com or it's one of the UK um, makeup clearing sites it's where I get my Emma Hardy products. In fact, actually I'm lying to you. I might have even got this directly from emmahardy.com. I love the Emma Hardy Moringa face balm, cleansing balm. I use it at night to take my makeup off. And I saw that she had a little three pack of these candles which smell like the Moringa balm and it is that smell is beautiful. The Body Shop has a Moringa smell as well which is nice but Emma Hardy's, oh it's beautiful. Another of the Incocos, this one was in Sweetie Pie, actually. That's what I'm wearing right now. It's the pale, pale pink with little white circles on it. Denise and I are adamant at protecting our skin, and you know how beautiful Denise's skin, in your skin is. You're asking me all the time about her uh, regime. Her regime is the brat was born with skin like that, but we're very protective of our skin, so we've already used up this summer this Hawaiian Tropic Silk Hydration SPF 50. Uh, this is hitting the bin, and I'll tell you what's going on with these. This is the Revlon Just Bitten uh, Lip Stain and Balm, and this one was in the color Passion. 
These came out, I don't know, two, three years ago, and it's one of those, you know, felt tip pens that are meant to stain your lips. Um, and then this, th this particular kind had a big, thick balm on the other end. Um, these have a plumping action in them, that's why they're called Just Bitten, and they actually aggravate my lips, so I cannot use them for the color part. So what I've done is just used up all the balm, and now that the balm is all used up, I'm getting rid of it. Dumping this, I'm finally at the end of it, it is my Tarte Emphasize Inner Rim Brightener. When I first bought it, I was singing its praises, I think it even made it into a favorite. Halfway through, first of all, it kept breaking off. It's a turn up thing and see how it's all busted because it kept breaking off. But by halfway through, it had also dried out. So it was no longer actually leaving much color on the rim. So because of the price of it, I would expect that to be good right to the end. So won't be buying that again. I've gone back to my like $3 Rimmel white eyeliner, which works just great in there. This was the Body Shop's Almond Oil Intensive Hand Rescue. Uh, totally use that up. It's a really, really great uh, hand moisturizer. Would buy it again? Think I actually think I already did buy it again. Oh, the Body Shop Lip Butters. Denise and I love these. This one was in Mango, which is a lovely scent for summer. And uh, I already have a backup for this, so yeah. Bought it a million times, we'll buy it a million. Like I said, Denise and I are serious about our skin. This is the La Roche-Posay Laboratories SPF 60 uh, protection UVA and UVB. It is what we were using on our face. We have a deck with a lovely big couch. If you watch our vlogs, you've seen. And the sun comes around there in the afternoon. We like to be out there, but we like to be protected. In fact, we put on our UV protection and we also have an umbrella that we put up. This was a Lush shower gel called Rose Jam. I, two things about the Lush shower gels. They don't bubble enough for me, and I didn't love the smell of the Rose Jam. You know I'm trying to get through these Bosha masks. The Peel Off Mask by Bosha. This is the Luminizing Black Mask. I, I, the peel off masks are killing me because in my um, perimenopausal state, I'm growing a little layer of fine, fine hair on my face. Gross, I know, those of you who are younger. How exciting, it's coming. Um, but on that note, I haven't had a period in three months, so woo, woo, woo. you gotta give a little and take a little. <laughs> um, this, when you peel it off, if you have any facial hair, ouch, it hurts like hell, but I, I can't throw a product away, so I, of course, bought a value pack, so I'm working through them, uh, and that was the black one gone. I will say this, I think the black one is my least favorite of the three that they have. Ooh, this was lovely. This is from L'Occitane, and it is the uh, Fleur de Cerie. How do you say cherry? Cerise? Cerie? Cherry Blossom. It's the uh, Cherry Blossom both shower gel and body lotion, and I also have a roller ball of the perfume that I'm halfway through. Really, really lovely scent. But again, the L'Occitane shower gels, not high um, bubbling factor. You've seen these in monthly favorites, and I've now used them up. It is the Tresemme Naturals uh, Moisture Nourishing Moisture Shampoo with Aloe Vera and Avocado. I really, really enjoy these. I was so impressed by the price of them. Um, I would buy them again, except that I have a whole bunch of shampoo and conditioner ready to be used, and I'm on a bit of a buying hiatus right now. You know who's sitting over there. Um, this is not empty, but I am getting rid of it. It is the Paris Amour perfume from Bath & Body Works. The only reason I bought this is because of the Eiffel Tower on the front. I have a lovely Eiffel Tower collection that my friend Wyatt gave me, and um, I thought this looked cute with it, but where I've removed it, not so much, and I've had it so long sitting in the sun that it doesn't even smell good anymore, so I'm just getting rid of it. Another in cocoa. this one is Temptress. A pair of Ardell Demi Wispies Black. My Glamour 814s by Quo, it's what I'm wearing right now. I love these, I go through these like water. And I used up these wipes, these were the uh, Ula Henriksen Nurture Me Cleansing Claws. I'm not sure that I would agree with the removes all traces of waterproof makeup, but it is a really nice cleansing now I've got two underarm things to talk about. Um, I'm finding I'm worrying more and more about the chemical load that I'm putting on myself uh, with the products that I use. Particularly I have, uh, you know, I have an artificial hip so that's a big chunk of metal and plastic that's inside my body. 
Um, if you've been watching my vlogs, you know that I also had a hernia operation recently and they put plastic mesh in my stomach. So I'm thinking, okay, all that stuff is inside, leaching, whatever. So how much do I really want to put on the outside? And I've been using antiperspirant since I was about 15, uh, maybe 14, 15 when I started playing sports. Uh, so I've been a little bit worried about that. So I have used up this antiperspirant, which is the secret clinical therapeutic sport version. So what I'm doing now is on the days when I have to be out and around people. So I don't mean like I'm going to the grocery store. Those people just got to deal with me. But um, like if I, if I have a meeting or if I have a gig and I know there's going to be a lot of me putting my arm around people for them to take their pictures with me. Um, I wear an actual antiperspirant. It's going to make sure that my dress doesn't get sweat on it. And it's going to make sure when I do put my arm up like this, I'm just going to smell sporty fresh. So I, I, that's why I use Secret. And I have another Secret on the go. The one I'm using right now is not clinical. Uh, but it's just a regular Secret uh, baby powder scent. So I love this. But on all those other days when I'm not going to be in the public eye, I have switched to a deodorant. This doesn't have any of that aluminum in it. Uh, so I'm at least trying to lessen the number of days that I smother my armpits with aluminum. This is, of course, the La Vanilla Laboratories, the Healthy Deodorant Solid Stick. This one is in pure vanilla. Um, they smell, oh, they smell gorgeous. This one smells just like you've just cut a vanilla bean open. Um, the one I'm using right now is Vanilla Summer, I think it's called, and it does have that lovely beachy, summery smell to it. It is a deodorant, so it does not stop your sweating, and for me, it stops the smell for about, I'm going to say, 16 hours. So I shower in the morning, I put this on, I smell pretty good all day, but when I wake up the next morning, it's shower time, for sure. But to me, it's worth it to not have the aluminum. Who knew that was going to be such a long underarm deodorant discussion? Uh, used up this candle, which I really love. Watermelon lemonade, Bath and Body Works. Mmm, nummy. Goodbye to one of these um, body butters that are no longer available. This was the Duo, uh, the kind that had like a thicker version on one side and a, and a thinner version on the other side. Uh, this one was in hazelnut, I re or sorry, macadamia nut. I really loved it, and what I did was I used the thicker side on my heels and my elbows and my knees and I use the other side on everything else. Oh, this hand cream was dreamy. This is the uh, Be Delectable from Cake Beauty Coconut and Cream Ultra Nourishing Hand Cream. What a smell, what a lovely consistency. I really loved it. I got it in a Luke's box and I was thinking, where am I gonna find it? But I was at Target the other day and I saw they have it there. Oh, I got to the end of one of my Candles by Victoria candles. This one was in Caramelized Banana Split. Ooh, nummy, it smelled just like that. Came to the end of this, I got this in a value pack. It was the Origins Checks and Balances Frothy Face Wash. It's a really nice face wash, especially if you have dry skin. Um, as you know, I'm getting rid of all of these NYX uh, glitter liners because they kind of separated when all oogie. And when Urban Decay reformulated theirs, I bought all their color range, so I didn't need this anymore. Used up this from Bath & Body Works. It's the Fresh Picked Hard Working Lip Balm in the Market Peach scent. Um, it's, you know, not the greatest lip balm in the world, but I bought it because that Market Peach scent is fantastic. Another shower gel by Lush. I think this is called Ponche, P-O-N-C-H-E. Again, um, not a big lather and didn't love the smell. Now this is tough. This product, this is the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner in intense black. It's a mini version of it. I got it in a value pack. It's a love-hate story. When I first opened it and started to use it, when I first opened it and started to use it, I thought, oh, wow, like this is incredible. This is such an amazing, in fact, I'll see if I can just, see how black that line is? It's incredible. But what you can't see because I don't have close-up capabilities is the tip. And I think this is one of those brush tips. It's hard. It might be felt. The tip, which when I first opened it was fantastic because it comes to a point so thin you can't even see it, but within weeks it got all bent and lopsided. So when I'm trying to make a really thin line on the inside, that can bend anyway. So I don't know if I got a bum one or if this happens to everybody that gets these. So I might try one more time with this um, to buy another one to see what happens because it 
In terms of it as an eyeliner, oh, whew, it is fantastic. But when the brush goes all wonky at the end, you're kind of shit out of luck. I came to the end of my uh, Spackle Tinted Under Makeup Primer by Laura Geller in the color Champagne. This is a nice primer, but it's nothing that I'd write home to mom about, so I probably won't buy it again. We'll buy it again, have bought it again, we'll continue to buy it. Ula Henriksen's um, Truth Serum Collagen Booster. It's a vitamin C serum. I'm using the uh, Privage one right now, which is like stupidly expensive. I got it on points at Chopper's Drug Mart, $275. Ah! Um, but this one is really affordable and it, it, it just feels fantastic. I use this in the morning. I got these samples from Sephora and I got quite a few of them, which is kind of cool because this is an expensive product. Uh, and these are big samples. It's the Overnight Restorative Cream by Algenist with Alu algaluronic acid. Anyway, it's a really nice night cream. Another one of those NYX sparkle glitters that is getting put out to pasture. My LA Splash um, Sealer Base for glitter. This is what I used exclusively since I found loose glitter to use on my eyes. But um, Too Faced has come out with a glitter glue that I've been trying and liking. And also um, Lit Cosmetics has a really nice um, glitter paste or glitter liquid so I'm not rebuying this right now. This is a long one guys but I'm just I'm determined to get to the bottom of the bag finally. I'm letting this brush go and I'm kind of sad to see it go because I've had it for probably 15 years. Um, it's a wooden brush by the body shop but it just um, is not doing it for me anymore. It's a little hard on my hair, a little hard on my head so I'm moving on. This was a lovely body balm. This was the Bliss High Intensity 24 Heaven Healing Body Balm for 24 hour hydration sal salvation. Smelled great, left me nicely moisturized. This was a Vita Bath uh, bubbling bath jelly that I got in some kind of a beauty promotion from Shoppers Drug Mart. It, I wouldn't go out and buy it, but it was a nice bubble bath. Oh, this was so beautiful. Um, Aspen Caramel Woods Triple Moisture Body Cream. That came out like last fall at Bath & Body Works and we were using it as a hand cream. Denise is sitting here going, uh, it really gorgeous smells. All these, this autumn line, the smells were beautiful. This is a cult product in the world and also a cult product in our house. It is the Elizabeth Arden uh, 8 Hour Cream. It's, it's legendary. Every makeup artist in the world has this in their kit. You can use this on your lips, on your legs, on your body, on your eyelids. You want your cheeks to glow, put a little of it up there. Uh, your hands are cracked, put, use it as hand cream. You got elephant elbows, use it there. Uh, Denise uh, had a bad case of lip sunburn last year and I turned her on to this and it healed it for her and she's been using it ever since. It's just one of those things I think everybody, man or woman, should have a tube of this in their house. The 8 hour cream. <sighs> this is the clean skin lotion that I got in that little pack with the rollerball. I love this smell. I love this. It's the Ula Henriksen Ultimate Lift Eye Gel. And I put it on before bed and when I wake up in the morning, I don't have big puffy bags. I really love this. This is the L'Occitane Amand uh, Supple Skin Oil. I love this so much I bought it in the full size. Came to the end of one of my Duo glues. I have to be honest with you, Duo is not my favorite glue. Lash Grip is my favorite glue. But I only ever got Lash Grip like in a kit with a pair of lashes. And every, every time I get one of those, I covet it. But when I come to the end of it, I don't know where to find it. And the Sally Beauty near me doesn't have it. So if any of you know in the Halifax area where I can get my hands on some Lash Grip, I much prefer it. It's like way cheaper too. And I feel like the Lash Grip dries better and it also um, it's easier to remove. Used up my Too Faced Shadow Insurance in the color Candlelight. I really love this. This I was a little disappointed in. This is the Makeup Forever Up Light Gel Face Luminizer Gel. This separated really really quickly and I was unable to continue using it so that's a bit of a bummer. Living Proof Restorative Mask Treatment for Hair. I got this in a value pack. It is great, but it will never trump my Moroccan, not my Moroccan, my uh, macadamia oil uh, hair mask. Another one of those peel-off masks from Bosha. This was the cool blue calming mask. Not as painful as the black one to remove, but still don't love them, but I am going to use them up. 
a lovely product by Jolique. Jolique products really are really lovely. They're all natural. Um, this was the Purely Age Defying Night Lotion, a restorative line smoother and moisturizer. I really enjoy that. The thing with Jolique though, you, got, you have to use it as soon as you get it. Because it's all natural, it expires. This was one of the antiperspirants I used. This is the Nivea Invisible for black and white. I didn't feel it to be any different from any regular antiperspirant. And a tiny little tester. This was out of my Body Shop Advent calendar at Christmas. It was a strawberry shower gel and I love it. I came to the end of one of my Revlon Colorstay foundations. This is probably my favorite drugstore foundation. Um, have repurchased it. Probably will always have a version of this. I love it in winter. And I used all up my Kat Von D uh, Tattoo Concealer. This is an awesome concealer for both under eye and blemishes. Oh, the Caudalie Divine Oil. It is dreamy and I already have it in large. Came to the end of this. This is old. I don't even think they still make these. This was a Maybelline. It's not even going to tell me the name of it. It's just an old Maybelline lip gloss that came in this kind of a dispenser and I finally came to the bottom of it. This is Denise's favorite uh, Burt's Bees lip balm. It is the Grapefruit Refreshing. It's a lovely lip balm. Another one of those glitter liners by NYX. And another one of those Just Bittens by Revlon. Again, I used up the whole lip balm part and now I'm chucking it. I don't know if they sell these anymore, but I bought them all when they first came out and I've been slowly using them all up. This is the Maybelline Shine Sensational Lip Gloss. This particular one is in the flavor or smell or color uh, Crazy for Caramel. They smell oh, spectacular and they really look beautiful on the lips. And it's another one that I used. Again, same product. This one though was in the Sparkling Grape, which put a little bit more color on the lips. I love these. One of our favorite uh, lip balms, it's the Nivea lip balm. These used to be Labello's. I don't know if anybody remembers that, but uh, Denise introduced them to me when they were still Labello and then Nivea kind of bought it out. This one is in the Pure Natural Milk and Honey, which is my favorite of all of them. My sweetie pie likes to keep our hands nice and clean, so she keeps uh, an anti-back pack in the car hanging off the uh, signal light indicator and we keep these in it and we've used up two of them. One is the Market Peach, what a smell, and the other one is Fresh Picked Tangerines. Both of them gorgeous smells. Another of those Nivea lip balms, but this one is uh, Fruity Shine in Cherry and of course it was one of the ones that has a bit of color in it. And I do love those colored lip balms. Another lip balm. This is the Blistex uh, Nurture and Nourish, which was really nice and it has an SPF 15 in it. Yet another one of those Bosha Peel Off masks. I think there's three or four tubes left in my kit in my bathroom. I'm getting through them. This one was the bright white mask. This is the least painful of the three. When we buy our eight hour cream, we usually look again for value packs and the last one we bought came with this eight hour cream intensive moisturizing hand treatment. It's a lovely hand cream. Sometimes I use the eight hour cream specifically around my cuticles and then put their actual hand cream on the rest of my hands. It's a nice combo. This is another in Coco and unfortunately it doesn't have a sticker on the back so I can't tell you what the color was. Another one of my Quo Flirty 804s. Love these. We're getting to the bottom of that bag so both my hands and the products are getting pretty grungy. Uh, you would have seen these in my last empties. They were the Urban Decay um, liquid liners that came in these little ink pots and they've all kind of dried out and got yucky on me so I'm getting rid of them. This one was in the color Ecstasy. Came to the end of a Great Lash Mascara. This in the color Teal Appeal. Oh, and the Fresh Sugar Lip Balms. I love these. This was one of the colored ones in Rosé. I, I get right down at the bottom and I totally dig it out. This I kept the whole time I had it in it in a little velvet bag it came in. It's the Terracotta Touch with Pure Gold by Guerlain and I used it as an under eye brightener and I really enjoyed it and I would definitely buy that again. I used up this OPI Natural Base Coat. It was an all right base coat. Not something I'm going to run out and buy again, but I love all the OPI products. I also used up an OPI nail chip and I will buy this again. I've bought this numerous times. Uh, it's just a great thing to clean your nails right before you put your, your polish on. It makes your polish last a little longer. I used up an EOS, Evolution of Soft. I think this is called Passion Fruit, this color. Came to the end of a shadow. Um, this was Loose Pigment by Beauty From The Earth Cosmetics in the color Beautiful, which was like just a really nice kind of 
you know, cream with that tiny little bit of yellow in it. Really, really beautiful loose pigment. Yet another one of those Maybelline um, Shine Sensational. Th these were sitting at the bottom of that bag, so I've used them over months. It's not like I used all that up in one month. Um, this is the, the Shine Sensational. This one was in Watermelon Punch, which was so fun in the summer months. I used up this tiny little Bosha, uh, ch what's it called? Subaki Beauty Oil, a very nice facial oil. This is the Amand Shower Oil. I don't like the shower oil because it does leave your skin feeling nice. It does smell good, but it barely lathers at all. And I like a big, bold lather. This, however, again, is their Supple Skin Oil, which I loved and bought in full size. Another one of those NYX glitter liners going out the door. I used up a NARS pencil. Is it? nothing left in it it's totally gone uh this was in the color sex machine and i love the name of it and i love the color of it. it was a real pale pearly pink this was lovely i got this in my luke's box it's the nexus youth renewal for your hair it's a serum and it smells like really sweet perfume so i loved it and it did i just put it on my tips and it did keep my tips nice and moisturized a little mini of the duo glue and the final product in this big ass empties, um, one of these samples of the Algenist uh, Genius Ultimate Anti-Aging Cream, which is their daytime cream. And these Algenist samples, I got tons of them from Sephora, so I got way more than I would have in a full size product, which would have cost me a fortune. And I love them, really good products. <sighs> that is finally the end of this bag, it is empty. For the last three empties, I've not been able to empty it. So this one was super long. If you stayed with me, thanks so much for staying with me to the end. Uh, my battery is flashing, so goodbye. Follow me. Click it, like it, do all that. Catch you next time. Bye.